Nevada, Wikipedia article audio. Nevada is a state in the western, mountain west, and southwestern regions of the United States of America. It borders Oregon to the northwest, Idaho to the northeast, California to the west, Arizona to the southeast and Utah to the east. Etymology and Pronunciation Geography Climate Flora and Fauna Counties History Before 1861 Separation from Utah Territory Statehood Gambling and Labor Nuclear testing Demographics Population Birth data Settlements Locations by GDP Ancestry Religion Economy Mining Cattle ranching Taxation Largest employers Transportation Law and government Government Nevada is the seventh most extensive, the thirty-fourth most populous, but the ninth least densely populated of the fifty United States. Nearly three-quarters of Nevada's people live in Clark County which contains the Las Vegas Paradise metropolitan area where three of the state's four largest incorporated cities are located. Nevada's capital is Carson City. State Agencies Law Nevada is officially known as the Silver State because of the importance of silver to its history and economy. It is also known as the Battle-Born State because it achieved statehood during the Civil War, as the Sagebrush State, for the native plant of the same name, and as the Sage Hen State. Prostitution Divorce Nevada is largely desert and semi-arid, much of it within the Great Basin. Areas south of the Great Basin are within the Mojave Desert, while Lake Tahoe and the Sierra Nevada lie on the western edge. About 86% of the state's land is managed by various jurisdictions of the U.S. federal government, both civilian and military. Before European contact, Native Americans of the Paiute, Shoshone, and Washoe tribes inhabited the land that is now Nevada. The first Europeans to explore the region were Spanish. They called the region Nevada because of the snow which covered the mountains in winter. The area formed part of the Viceroyalty of New Spain, and became part of Mexico when it gained independence in 1821. The United States annexed the area in 1848 after its victory in the Mexican-American War and it was incorporated as part of Utah Territory in 1850. The discovery of silver at the Comstock Lode in 1859 led to a population boom that became an impetus to the creation of Nevada Territory out of Western Utah Territory in 1861. Nevada became the 36th state on October 31, 1864 as the second of two states added to the Union during the Civil War. Nevada has a reputation for its libertarian laws. In 1940, with a population of just over 110,000 people, Nevada was by far the least populated state, with less than half the population of the next least populated state. However, Legalized gambling and lenient marriage and divorce laws transformed Nevada into a major tourist destination in the 20th century. Nevada is the only U.S. state where prostitution is legal, though it is illegal in Clark County, Washoe County, and Carson City. 
The tourism industry remains Nevada's largest employer, with mining continuing as a substantial sector of the economy. Nevada is the fourth largest producer of gold in the world. The name Nevada comes from the Spanish Nevada, meaning snow covered, after the Sierra Nevada. Most Nevadans pronounce the second syllable of their state name using the trap vowel. Many from outside the western United States pronounce it with the palm vowel. Although the latter pronunciation is closer to the Spanish pronunciation, it is not the pronunciation preferred by most Nevadans. State Assemblyman Harry Mortensen proposed a bill to recognize the alternate pronunciation of Nevada, though the bill was not supported by most legislators and never received a vote. The Nevadan pronunciation is the de facto official one, since it is the one used by the state legislature. At one time, the state's official tourism organization, Travel Nevada, stylized the name of the state as Nevda, with a brief mark over the A indicating the locally preferred pronunciation which is also available as a license plate design. Nevada is almost entirely within the Basin and Range Province, and is broken up by many north-south mountain ranges. Most of these ranges have ender hike valleys between them, which belies the image portrayed by the term Great Basin. Much of the northern part of the state is within the Great Basin, a mild desert that experiences hot temperatures in the summer and cold temperatures in the winter. Occasionally, moisture from the Arizona monsoon will cause summer thunderstorms, Pacific storms may blanket the area with snow. The state's highest recorded temperature was 125 degrees Fahrenheit in Laughlin on June 29, 1994. The coldest recorded temperature was 52 degrees F set in San Jacinto in 1972 in the northeastern portion of the state. The Humboldt River crosses the state from east to west across the northern part of the state, draining into the Humboldt Sink near Lovelock. Several rivers drain from the Sierra Nevada eastward, including the Walker, Truckee, and Carson Rivers. All of these rivers are Enderhike basins, ending in Walker Lake, Pyramid Lake, and the Carson Sink respectively. However, not all of Nevada is within the Great Basin. Tributaries of the Snake River drain the far north, while the Colorado River, which also forms much of the boundary with Arizona, drains much of southern Nevada. The mountain ranges, some of which have peaks above 13,000 feet, harbor lush forests high above desert plains creating sky islands for endemic species. The valleys are often no lower in elevation than 3,000 feet, while some in central Nevada are above 6,000 feet. The southern third of the state, where the Las Vegas area is situated, is within the Mojave Desert. The area receives less rain in the winter but is closer to the Arizona monsoon in the summer. The terrain is also lower, mostly below 4,000 feet, creating conditions for hot summer days and cool to chilly winter nights. Nevada and California have by far the longest diagonal line as a state boundary at just over 400 miles. This line begins in Lake Tahoe nearly 4 miles offshore and continues to the Colorado River where the Nevada, California, and Arizona boundaries merge 12 miles southwest of the Laughlin Bridge. The largest mountain range in the southern portion of the state is the Spring Mountain Range, just west of Las Vegas. The state's lowest point is along the Colorado River, south of Laughlin. Nevada has 172 mountain summits with 2,000 feet of prominence. Nevada ranks second in the United States by number of mountains, behind Alaska and ahead of California, Montana, and Washington. 
Nevada is the most mountainous state in the contiguous United States. Vegetation at Timber Creek in the Shell Creek Range Red Rock Canyon National Conservation Area Scenery at Valley of Fire State Park Fly Geyser Lake Tahoe on the Nevada side Nevada is the driest state in the United States. It is made up of mostly desert and semi-arid climate regions, and, with the exception of the Las Vegas Valley, the average summer diurnal temperature range approaches 71 degrees Fahrenheit in much of the state. While winters in northern Nevada are long and fairly cold, the winter season in the southern part of the state tends to be of short duration and mild. Most parts of Nevada receive scarce precipitation during the year. Most rain that falls in the state falls on the lee side of the Sierra Nevada. The average annual rainfall per year is about 7 inches, the wettest parts get around 40 inches. Nevada's highest recorded temperature is 125 degrees Fahrenheit at Laughlin on June 29. 1994 and the lowest recorded temperature is 50 degree F at San Jacinto on January 8, 1937. Nevada's 125 degrees Fahrenheit reading is the third highest statewide record high temperature of a U.S. state, just behind Arizona's 128 degrees Fahrenheit reading and California's 134 degrees Fahrenheit reading. The vegetation of Nevada is diverse and differs by state area. Nevada contains six biotic zones, alpine, subalpine, ponderosa pine, pinyon juniper, sagebrush and creosote bush. Nevada is divided into political jurisdictions designated as counties. Carson City is officially a consolidated municipality, however. For many purposes under state law it is considered to be a county. As of 1919 there were 17 counties in the state, ranging from 146 to 18,159 square miles. Lake County, one of the original nine counties formed in 1861, was renamed Roop County in 1862. Part of the county became Lassen County, California in 1864. The portion that remained in Nevada was annexed in 1883 by Washoe County. In 1969, Ormsby County was dissolved and the consolidated municipality of Carson City was created by the legislature in its place CO terminus with the old boundaries of Ormsby County. Bullfrog County was formed in 1987 from part of Nye County. After the creation was declared unconstitutional the county was abolished in 1989. Humboldt County was designated as a county in 1856 by Utah Territorial Legislature and again in 1861 by the new Nevada Legislature. Clark County is the most populous county in Nevada, accounting for nearly three-quarters of its residents. Las Vegas, Nevada's most populous city, has been the county seat since the county was created in 1909 from a portion of Lincoln County, Nevada. Before that, it was a part of Arizona Territory. Clark County attracts numerous tourists. An estimated 44 million people visited Clark County in 2014. 66.2% White American, 8.1% Black American, 7.2% Asian American, 4.7% Multiracial American, 1.2% American Indian and Alaska Native, 0.6% Native Hawaiian and other Pacific Islander. 12.0% some other race. Taxes Gay rights 
Incorporation Financial Institutions Alcohol and Other Drugs Smoking Crime Politics State Politics National Politics Voting Education Public School Districts Colleges and Universities Research Institutes Parks and Recreation Areas Recreation Areas Maintained by the Federal Government Northern Nevada Southern Nevada Wilderness State Parks Culture Entertainment and Tourism Sports List of Teams Major League Teams Minor League Teams Amateur League Teams College Teams Military Songs about Nevada Future Issues State Symbols Notes 20.8% Mexican, 13.3% German, 10.0% Irish, 9.2% English, 6.3% Italian, 3.8% American, 3.6% Scandinavian. Carson City School District, Churchill County School District, Clark County School District, the fifth largest school district in the United States, Douglas County School District, Elko County School District, Esmeralda County School District, Eureka County School District, Humboldt County School District, Lander County School District, Lincoln County School District, Lyon County School District, Mineral County School District, Nye County School District, Pershing County School District, Story County School District, Washoe County School District, White Pine County School District, USS Nevada, USS Nevada, USS Nevada, USS Nevada. Washoe County is the second most populous county of Nevada. Its county seat is Reno. Washoe County includes the Reno Sparks metropolitan area. Lyon County is the third most populous county. It was one of the nine original counties created in 1861. It was named after Nathaniel Lyon, the first Union general to be killed in the Civil War. Its current county seat is Yerington. Its first county seat was established at Dayton on November 29, 1861. Francisco Garces was the first European in the area. Nevada was annexed as a part of the Spanish Empire in the northwestern territory of New Spain. Administratively, the area of Nevada was part of the Commandancy General of the Provincias Internas in the Viceroyalty of New Spain. Nevada became a part of Alta California Province in 1804 when the Californias were split. With the Mexican War of Independence won in 1821, the province of Alta California became a territory of Mexico, with small population. Jedediah Smith entered the Las Vegas Valley in 1827 and Peter Skeen Ogden traveled the Humboldt River in 1828. When the Mormons created the state of Deseret in 1847, they laid claim to all of Nevada within the Great Basin and the Colorado watershed. They also founded the first white settlement in what is now Nevada, Mormon Station, in 1851. In June 1855, 
William Bringhurst and 29 fellow Mormon missionaries from Utah arrived at a site just northeast of downtown Las Vegas and built a 150-foot square adobe fort, the first permanent structure erected in the valley, which remained under the control of Salt Lake City until the winter of 1858-1859. As a result of the Mexican-American War and the Treaty of Guadalupe Hidalgo, Mexico permanently lost all to California in 1848. The new areas acquired by the United States continued to be administered as territories. As part of the Mexican Cession and the subsequent California Gold Rush that used emigrant trails through the area, the state's area evolved first as part of the Utah Territory, then the Nevada Territory. See History of Utah, History of Las Vegas, and the discovery of the first major U.S. deposit of silver ore in Comstock Lode under Virginia City, Nevada in 1859. On March 2, 1861, the Nevada Territory separated from the Utah Territory and adopted its current name, shortened from Sierra Nevada. The 1861 southern boundary is commemorated by Nevada historical markers 57 and 58 in Lincoln and Nye counties. Eight days before the presidential election of 1864, Nevada became the 36th state in the Union. Rather than sending the Nevada State Constitution to Washington, D.C. by Pony Express to save time the full text of the state constitution was sent by telegraph at a cost of $3,416.77 the most costly telegraph on file for a single dispatch. Finally the response from Washington, D.C. on October 31, 1864 was the pain is over. The child is born, Nevada this day was admitted into the Union. Statehood was rushed to the date of October 31st to help ensure Abraham Lincoln's re-election on November 8 and post-Civil War Republican dominance in Congress, as Nevada's mining-based economy tied it to the more industrialized Union. As it turned out, however, Lincoln and the Republicans won the election handily, and did not need Nevada's help. Nevada is one of only two states to significantly expand its borders after admission to the Union. In 1866 another part of the western Utah Territory was added to Nevada in the eastern part of the state, setting the current eastern boundary. Nevada achieved its current southern boundaries on January 18. 1867, when it absorbed the portion of Paiute County in the Arizona Territory west of the Colorado River, essentially all of present-day Nevada south of the 37th parallel. The transfer was prompted by the discovery of gold in the area, and it was thought by officials Nevada would be better able to oversee the expected population boom. This area includes most of what is now Clark County and the Las Vegas metropolitan area. Mining shaped Nevada's economy for many years. When Mark Twain lived in Nevada during the period described in Roughing It, mining had led to an industry of speculation and immense wealth. However, both mining and population declined in the late 19th century. However, the rich silver strike at Tonopah in 1900, followed by strikes in Goldfield and Rhyolite, again put Nevada's population on an upward trend. Unregulated gambling was commonplace in the early Nevada mining towns but was outlawed in 1909 as part of a nationwide anti-gambling crusade. Because of subsequent declines in mining output and the decline of the agricultural sector during the Great Depression, Nevada again legalized gambling on March 19, 1931, with approval from the legislature. Governor Fred B. Balzar's signature enacted the most liberal divorce laws in the country and open gambling. 
The reforms came just eight days after the federal government presented the $49 million construction contract for Boulder Dam. The Nevada test site, 65 miles northwest of the city of Las Vegas, was founded on January 11, 1951, for the testing of nuclear weapons. The site consists of about 1,350 square miles of desert and mountainous terrain. Nuclear testing at the Nevada test site began with a 1 kiloton of TNT bomb dropped on Frenchman Flat on January 27, 1951. The last atmospheric test was conducted on July 17, 1962 and the underground testing of weapons continued until September 23, 1992. The location is known for having the highest concentration of nuclear detonated weapons in the U.S. Over 80% of the state's area is owned by the federal government. The primary reason for this is homesteads were not permitted in large enough sizes to be viable in the arid conditions that prevail throughout desert Nevada. Instead, early settlers would homestead land surrounding a water source, and then graze livestock on the adjacent public land, which is useless for agriculture without access to water. The United States Census Bureau estimates the population of Nevada on July 1, 2016 was 2,940,058, an increase of 56,300 residents since the 2015 U.S. Census estimate and an increase of 239,367 residents since the 2010 United States Census. Nevada had the second highest percentage growth in population from 2015 to 2016. Since the 2010 census, the population of Nevada had a natural increase of 87,581, and an increase due to net migration of 146,626. The center of population of Nevada is in southern Nye County. In this county, the unincorporated town of Pahrump, 60 miles west of Las Vegas on the California state line, has grown very rapidly from 1980 to 2010. At the 2010 census, the town had 36,441 residents. Las Vegas grew from a gulch of 100 people in 1900 to 10,000 by 1950 to 100,000 by 1970, and was America's fastest growing city and metropolitan area from 1960 to 2000. From about the 1940s until 2003, Nevada was the fastest growing state in the U.S. percentage wise. Between 1990 and 2000, Nevada's population increased 66 percent, while the USA's population increased 13 percent. Over two-thirds of the population of the state lives in the Clark County Las Vegas metropolitan area. Henderson and North Las Vegas are among the USA's top 20 fastest-growing cities of over 100,000. The rural community of Mesquite 65 miles northeast of Las Vegas was an example of micropolitan growth in the 1990s and 2000s. Other desert towns like Indian Springs and Searchlight on the outskirts of Las Vegas have seen some growth as well. Large numbers of new residents in the state originate from California, which led some locals to feel their state is being Californicated. Note, births within the table table do not add up, due to Hispanics being counted both by their ethnicity and by their race, giving a higher overall number. A small percentage of Nevada's population lives in rural areas. The culture of these places differs significantly from the major metropolitan areas. People in these rural counties tend to be native Nevada residents unlike in the Las Vegas and Reno areas, 
where the vast majority of the population was born in another state. The rural population is also less diverse in terms of race and ethnicity. Mining plays an important role in the economies of the rural counties, with tourism being less prominent. Ranching also has a long tradition in rural Nevada. According to 2016 Census Bureau data, Nevada is now majority minority joining California, Texas, New Mexico, Hawaii, and the District of Columbia. As of July 1, 2016, the Census Bureau estimated that Nevada was 75.1% white, 9.6% black or African American, 8.7% Asian, 1.6% American Indian or Alaska Native, and 0.8% Native Hawaiian or other Pacific Islander. Individuals from two or more races made up 4.2% of the population. Hispanics of any race made up 28.5% of the state's population. According to the 2010 census estimates, racial distribution was as follows. Hispanics or Latinos of any race made 26.5% of the population. In 1980, non-Hispanic whites made up 83.3% of the state's population. The principal ancestries of Nevada's residents in 2009 have been surveyed to be the following. Nevada is home to many cultures and nationalities. As of 2011, 63.6% of Nevada's population younger than age 1 were minorities. Las Vegas is a minority-majority city. Nevada also has a sizable Basque ancestry population. In Douglas, Mineral, and Pershing counties, a plurality of residents are of Mexican ancestry, with Clark County alone being home to over 200,000 Mexican Americans. Nye County and Humboldt County have a plurality of Germans, and Washoe County has many Irish Americans. Americans of English descent form pluralities in Lincoln County, Churchill County, Lyon County, White Pine County and Eureka County. Las Vegas is home to rapid-growing ethnic communities, including Scandinavians, Italians, Poles, Greeks, Spaniards, and Armenians. Though, Mexicans are the majority of Latinos in the state, Nevada has a relatively diverse Hispanic-Latino population. Asian Americans lived in the state since the California Gold Rush of the 1850s brought thousands of Chinese miners to Washoe County. They were followed by a few hundred Japanese farm workers in the late 19th century. By the late 20th century, many immigrants from China, Japan, Korea, the Philippines, Bangladesh, India, and Vietnam came to the Las Vegas metropolitan area. The city now has one of America's most prolific Asian American communities, with a mostly Chinese and Taiwanese area known as Chinatown west of I-15 on Spring Mountain Road. Filipino Americans form the largest Asian American group in the state, with a population of more than 113,000. They comprise 56.5% of the Asian American population in Nevada and constitute about 4.3% of the entire state's population. Largely African American sections of Las Vegas and Reno can be found. Many current African American Nevadans are newly transplanted residents from California. According to the 2000 U.S. Census, 16.19% of Nevada's population aged 5 and older speak Spanish at home, while 1.59% speak Filipino, and 1% speak Chinese. At the 2010 census, 6.9% of the state's population were reported as under 5, 24.6% were under 18, 
and 12.0% were 65 or older. Females made up about 49.5% of the population. Las Vegas was a major destination for immigrants from South Asia and Latin America seeking employment in the gaming and hospitality industries during the 1990s and first decade of the 21st century, but farming and construction are the biggest employers of immigrant labor. Senior citizens and infants, young children, or teenagers form large sections of the Nevada population. The religious makeup of Nevadans includes large communities of Mormons, Roman Catholics, and Evangelicals, each is known for higher birth rates and a younger than national average age. American Jews represent a large proportion of the active adult retirement community. Data from 2000 and 2005 suggests the following figures. Church attendance in Nevada is among the lowest of all U.S. states. In a 2009 Gallup poll only 30% of Nevadans said they attended church weekly or almost weekly, compared to 42% of all Americans. Major religious affiliations of the people of Nevada are Protestant 35%, No Religion 28%, Roman Catholic 25%, Latter-day Saint 4%, Jewish 2%, Hindu less than 1%, Buddhist 0.5%, and Islam less than 0.1%. Parts of Nevada are situated in the Mormon Corridor. The largest denominations by number of adherents in 2010 were the Roman Catholic Church with 451,070, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints with 175,149, and the Southern Baptist Convention with 45,535, Buddhist congregations 14,727, Baha'i 1,723, and Muslim 1,700. The Jewish community is represented by the Rohr Jewish Learning Institute and Chabad. The economy of Nevada is tied to tourism, mining, and cattle ranching. Nevada's industrial outputs are tourism, mining, machinery, printing, and publishing, food processing, and electric equipment. The Bureau of Economic Analysis estimates Nevada's total state product in 2010 was $126 billion. The state's per capita personal income in 2009 was $38,578, ranking 19th in the nation. Nevada's state debt in 2012 was calculated to be $7.5 billion or $3,100 per taxpayer. As of December 2014, the state's unemployment rate was 6.8%. The economy of Nevada has long been tied to vice industries. Founded on mining and refounded on sin beginning with prize fighting and easy divorce a century ago and later extending to gaming and prostitution, said the August 21. 2010 issue of The Economist. In portions of the state outside of the Las Vegas and Reno metropolitan areas mining plays a major economic role. By value, gold is by far the most important mineral mined. In 2004, 6,800,000 ounces of gold worth $2.84 billion were mined in Nevada and the state accounted for 8.7% of world gold production. Silver is a distant second, with 10,300,000 ounces worth $69 million mined in 2004. Other minerals mined in Nevada include construction aggregates, copper, gypsum, diatomite, and lithium. Despite its rich deposits, the cost of mining in Nevada is generally high, and output is very sensitive to world commodity prices. Cattle ranching is a major economic activity in rural Nevada. 
Nevada's agricultural outputs are cattle, hay, alfalfa, dairy products, onions, and potatoes. As of January 1, 2006, there were an estimated 500,000 head of cattle and 70,000 head of sheep in Nevada. Most of these animals forage on rangeland in the summer, with supplemental feed in the winter. Calves are generally shipped to out-of-state feedlots in the fall to be fattened for market. Over 90% of Nevada's 484,000 acres of cropland is used to grow hay, mostly alfalfa, for livestock feed. Nevada does not have a state income tax. The state sales tax in Nevada is variable depending upon the county. The minimum statewide tax rate is 6.85%, with five counties charging this minimum amount. All other counties assess various option taxes, making the combined state-slash-county sales taxes rate in one county as high as 8.25%, which is the amount charged in Clark County. Sales tax in the other major counties, Carson at 7.745%, was show at 7.725%. The minimum Nevada sales tax rate changed on July 1, 2009. The largest employers in the state, as of the first fiscal quarter of 2011, are the following, according to the Nevada Department of Employment, Training, and Rehabilitation. Amtrak's California Zephyr train uses the Union Pacific's original transcontinental railroad line in daily service from Chicago to Emeryville, California, serving Elko, Winnemucca, and Reno. Amtrak Thruway motor coaches also provide connecting service from Las Vegas to trains at Needles, California, Los Angeles, and Bakersfield, California, and from State Line, Nevada to Sacramento, California. Las Vegas has had no passenger train service since Amtrak's Desert Wind was discontinued in 1997, although there have been a number of proposals to reintroduce service to either Los Angeles or Southern California. The Union Pacific Railroad has some railroads in the north and south of Nevada. Greyhound lines provide some bus service to the state. Interstate 15 passes through the southern tip of the state, serving Las Vegas and other communities. I-215 and spur route I-515 also serve the Las Vegas metropolitan area. Interstate 80 crosses through the northern part of Nevada roughly following the path of the Humboldt River from Utah in the east and the Truckee River westward through Reno into California. It has a spur route, I-580. Nevada also is served by several U.S. highways, U.S. 6, U.S. 50, U.S. 93, U.S. 95, and U.S. 395. There are also 189 Nevada state routes. Many of Nevada's counties have a system of county routes as well, though many are not signed or paved in rural areas. Nevada is one of a few states in the U.S. that does not have a continuous interstate highway linking its two major population centers. The road connection between the Las Vegas and Reno areas is a combination of interstate and U.S. highways. The state is one of just a few in the country to allow semi-trailer trucks with three trailers what might be called a road train in Australia. But American versions are usually smaller, in part because they must ascend and descend some fairly steep mountain passes. RDC Transit is the public transit system in the Las Vegas metropolitan area. The agency is the largest transit agency in the state and operates a network of bus service across the Las Vegas Valley, including the use of the Deuce, double-decker buses, on the Las Vegas Strip and several outlying routes. RDC Ride operates a system of local transit bus service throughout the Reno-Sparks metropolitan area.
Other transit systems in the state include Carson City's JAC. Most other counties in the state do not have public transportation at all. Additionally, a four-mile monorail system provides public transportation in the Las Vegas area. The Las Vegas monorail line services several casino properties and the Las Vegas Convention Center on the east side of the Las Vegas Strip, running near Paradise Road, with a possible future extension to McCarran International Airport. Several hotels also run their own monorail lines between each other, which are typically several blocks in length. McCarran International Airport in Las Vegas is the busiest airport serving Nevada. The Reno Tahoe International Airport is the other major airport in the state. Under the Constitution of the State of Nevada, the powers of the Nevada government are divided among three separate departments, the executive consisting of the Governor of Nevada and their cabinet along with the other elected constitutional officers the legislative consisting of the Nevada Legislature, which includes the Assembly and the Senate, and the judicial consisting of the Supreme Court of Nevada and lower courts. The Governor of Nevada is the Chief Magistrate of Nevada, the head of the Executive Department of the state's government, and the Commander-in-Chief of the state's military forces. The current Governor of Nevada is Brian Sandoval, a Republican. The Nevada Legislature is a bicameral body divided into an Assembly and Senate. Members of the Assembly serve for two years, and members of the Senate serve for four years. Both houses of the Nevada Legislature will be impacted by term limits starting in 2010, as Senators and Assemblymen slash women will be limited to a maximum of 12 years service in each House a provision of the Constitution which was recently upheld by the Supreme Court of Nevada in a unanimous decision. Each session of the Legislature meets for a constitutionally mandated 120 days in every odd-numbered year, or longer if the Governor calls a special session. The Supreme Court of Nevada is the state Supreme Court. Original jurisdiction is divided between the district courts, and justice courts and municipal courts. Appeals from district courts are made directly to the Nevada Supreme Court, which under a deflective model of jurisdiction, has the discretion to send cases to the Nevada Court of Appeals for final resolution. Incorporated towns in Nevada, known as cities, are given the authority to legislate anything not prohibited by law. A recent movement has begun to permit home rule in incorporated Nevada cities to give them more flexibility and fewer restrictions from the legislature. Town boards for unincorporated towns are limited local governments created by either the local county commission, or by referendum and form a purely advisory role and in no way diminish the responsibilities of the county commission that creates them. State Departments and Agencies In 1900, Nevada's population was the smallest of all states and was shrinking, as the difficulties of living in a barren desert began to outweigh the lure of silver for many early settlers. Historian Lawrence Friedman has explained what happened next. Nevada, in a burst of ingenuity, built an economy by exploiting its sovereignty. Its strategy was to legalize all sorts of things that were illegal in California, after easy divorce came easy marriage and casino gaming. Even prostitution is legal in Nevada, in any county that decides to allow it. Quite a few of them do. With the advent of air conditioning for summertime use and southern Nevada's mild winters, the fortunes of the state began to turn around, as it did for Arizona, making these two states the fastest growing in the Union. Nevada is the only state where prostitution is legal. Prostitution is specifically illegal by state law in the state's larger jurisdictions 
which include Clark County, Washoe County, and the independent city of Carson City. Otherwise, it is legal in those counties which specifically vote to permit it. When permitted, brothels are only in rural or isolated parts of counties. Nevada's early reputation as a divorce haven arose from the fact that, before the no-fault divorce revolution in the 1970s, divorces were difficult to obtain in the United States. Already having legalized gambling and prostitution, Nevada continued the trend of boosting its profile by adopting one of the most liberal divorce statutes in the nation. This resulted in Williams v. North Carolina, 317 U.S. 287, in which the U.S. Supreme Court ruled North Carolina had to give full faith and credit to a Nevada divorce. The court modified its decision in Williams v. North Carolina, 325 U.S. 226, by holding a state need not recognize a Nevada divorce unless one of the parties was domiciled there at the time the divorce was granted and the forum state was entitled to make its own determination. As of 2009, Nevada's divorce rate was above the national average. Nevada's tax laws are intended to draw new residents and businesses to the state. Nevada has no personal income tax or corporate income tax. Since Nevada does not collect income data it cannot share such information with the federal government, the IRS. Nevada's state sales tax rate is 6.85%. Counties may impose additional rates via voter approval or through approval of the legislature, therefore, the applicable sales tax will vary by county from 6.85% to 8.1% in Clark County. Clark County, which includes Las Vegas, imposes four separate county option taxes in addition to the statewide rate 0.25% for flood control. 0.50% for mass transit, 0.25% for infrastructure, and 0.25% for more cops. In Washoe County, which includes Reno, the sales tax rate is 7.725%, due to county option rates for flood control the Retract Train Trench Project, Mass Transit, and an additional county rate approved under the Local Government Tax Act of 1991. The lodging tax rate in unincorporated Clark County, which includes the Las Vegas Strip, is 12%. Within the boundaries of the cities of Las Vegas and Henderson, the lodging tax rate is 13%. Corporations such as Apple Inc. allegedly have set up investment companies and funds in Nevada to avoid paying taxes. In 2009, the Nevada legislature passed a bill creating a domestic partnership registry that enables gay couples to enjoy the same rights as married couples. As of 2014, gay marriage is legal in Nevada. Nevada provides friendly environment for the formation of corporations, and many businesses have incorporated in Nevada to take advantage of the benefits of the Nevada statute. Nevada corporations offer great flexibility to the board of directors and simplify or avoid many of the rules that are cumbersome to business managers in some other states. In addition, Nevada has no franchise tax although it does require businesses to have a license for which the business has to pay the state. Similarly, many U.S. states have usury laws limiting the amount of interest a lender can charge, but federal law allows corporations to import these laws from their home state. Nevada has very liberal alcohol laws. Bars are permitted to remain open 24 hours with no last call. Liquor stores, convenience stores, and supermarkets may also sell alcohol 24 hours per day, 
and may sell beer, wine, and spirits. In 2016, Nevada voters approved Question 2, which legalized the possession, transportation, and cultivation of personal use amounts of marijuana for adults age 21 years and older, and authorized the creation of a regulated market for the sale of marijuana to adults age 21 years and older through state-licensed retail outlets. Nevada voters had previously approved medical marijuana in 2000, but rejected marijuana legalization in a similar referendum in 2006. Marijuana in all forms remains illegal under federal law. Non-alcohol drug laws are a notable exception to Nevada's otherwise libertarian principles. It is notable for having the harshest penalties for drug offenders in the country. Nevada remains the only state to still use mandatory minimum sentencing guidelines for possession of drugs. Nevada voters enacted a smoking ban in November 2006 that became effective on December 8, 2006. It outlaws smoking in most workplaces and public places. Smoking is permitted in bars, but only if the bar serves no food or the bar is inside a larger casino. Smoking is also permitted in casinos, certain hotel rooms, tobacco shops, and brothels. However, some businesses do not obey this law and the government tends not to enforce it. In 2011, smoking restrictions in Nevada were loosened for certain places which allow only people age 21 or older inside. In 2006, the crime rate in Nevada was about 24% higher than the national average rate, though crime has since decreased. Property crimes accounted for about 85% of the total crime rate in Nevada, which was 21% higher than the national rate. The remaining 20.3% were violent crimes. A complete listing of crime data in the state for 2013 can be found here. Due to heavy growth in the southern portion of the state, there is a noticeable divide between politics of northern and southern Nevada. The north has long maintained control of key positions in state government, even while the population of southern Nevada is larger than the rest of the state combined. The North sees the high population South becoming more influential and perhaps commanding majority rule. The South sees the North as the old guard trying to rule as an oligarchy. This has fostered some resentment, however, due to a term limit amendment passed by Nevada voters in 1994, and again in 1996. Some of the North's hold over key positions will soon be forfeited to the South, leaving northern Nevada with less power. Historically, northern Nevada has been very Republican. The more rural counties of the North are among the most conservative regions of the country. Carson City, the state's capital, is a Republican-leaning swing city-slash-county. Washoe County, home to Reno, has historically been strongly Republican, but now has become more of a Democratic-leaning swing county. Clark County, home to Las Vegas, has been a stronghold for the Democratic Party since it was founded in 1909, having voted Republican only six times and once for a third-party candidate. Clark and Washoe counties have long dominated the state's politics. Between them, they cast 87% of Nevada's vote, and elect a substantial majority of the state legislature. The last Republican to carry Clark County was George H.W. Bush in 1988, and the last Republican to carry Washoe County was George W. Bush in 2004. The great majority of the state's elected officials are either from Las Vegas or Reno. Nevada voted for the winner in every presidential election from 1912 to 2012, 
except in 1976 when it voted for Gerald Ford over Jimmy Carter. This includes Nevada supporting Democrats John F. Kennedy and Lyndon B. Johnson in 1960 and 1964, respectively. Republican Richard Nixon in 1968 and in 1972, Republican Ronald Reagan in 1980 and in 1984, Republican George H.W. Bush in 1988, Democrat Bill Clinton in 1992 and 1996, Republican George W. Bush in 2000 and 2004 and Democrat Barack Obama winning the state in both 2008 and 2012. This gives the state status as a political bellwether. From 1912 to 2012, Nevada has been carried by the presidential victor the most out of any state. In 2016, Nevada lost its bellwether status when it narrowly cast its votes for Hillary Clinton, against Donald Trump, the latter of whom was the 2016 election winner. Nevada was one of only three states won by John F. Kennedy in the American West in the election of 1960, albeit narrowly. The state's U.S. Senators are Democrat Catherine Cortez Masto, and Republican Dean Heller. The governorship is held by Brian Sandoval, a Republican from Reno. Nevada is the only U.S. state to have a none of the above option available on its ballots. Officially called none of these candidates, the option was first added to the ballot in 1975 and is used in all statewide elections, including President, U.S. Senate, and all state constitutional positions. In the event that none of these candidates receives a plurality of votes in the election, the candidate with the next highest total is elected. Education in Nevada is achieved through public and private elementary, middle, and high schools, as well as colleges and universities. A May 2015 educational reform law expanded school choice options to 450,000 Nevada students who are at up to 185% of the federal poverty level. Education savings accounts are enabled by the new law to help pay the tuition for private schools. Alternatively, families can use funds in these accounts to also pay for textbooks and tutoring. Public school districts in Nevada include The Nevada Aerospace Hall of Fame provides educational resources and promotes the aerospace and aviation history of the state. There are 68 designated wilderness areas in Nevada, protecting some 6,579,014 acres under the jurisdiction of the National Park Service, U.S. Forest Service, and Bureau of Land Management. The Nevada State Parks comprise protected areas managed by the state of Nevada, including state parks, state historic sites, and state recreation areas. There are 24 state park units, including Van Sickle by State Park which opened in July 2011 and is operated in partnership with the state of California. Resort areas like Las Vegas, Reno, Lake Tahoe, and Laughlin attract visitors from around the nation and world. In FY08 the total of 266 casinos with gaming revenue over $1 million for the year, brought in revenue of $12 billion in gaming revenue, and $13 billion in non-gaming revenue. A review of gaming statistics can be found at Nevada Gaming Area. Nevada has by far the most hotel rooms per capita in the United States. According to the American Hotel and Lodging Association, there were 187,301 rooms in 584 hotels. The state is ranked just below California, Texas, Florida, and New York in total number of rooms, but those states have much larger populations. 
Nevada has one hotel room for every 14 residents, far above the national average of one hotel room per 67 residents. Prostitution is legal in parts of Nevada in licensed brothels, but only counties with populations under 400,000 have the option to legalize it. Although prostitution is not a major part of the Nevada economy, employing roughly 300 women as independent contractors, it is a very visible endeavor. Of the 14 counties permitted to legalize prostitution under state law, eight have chosen to legalize brothels. State law prohibits prostitution in Clark County and Washoe County. However, prostitution is legal in Story County, which is part of the Reno Sparks metropolitan area. Nevada is not well known for its professional sports teams, mainly because major league sports in the past feared having direct involvement with the sports gambling industry. However, this situation lessened after they embraced daily fantasy sports in 2014. The Las Vegas Valley is home to the Vegas Golden Knights of the National Hockey League who began play in the 2017-18 NHL season at T-Mobile Arena on the Las Vegas Strip in Paradise, Nevada. The Golden Knights are currently the only major North American professional sports franchise located in Nevada. They will be joined by the Oakland Raiders who at the start of the 2016 NFL season expressed interest in moving their team to Las Vegas, and announced in January 2017 they would do so in either 2019 or 2020. Nevada takes pride in college sports, most notably its college football. College teams in the state include the Nevada Wolf Pack and the UNLV Rebels, both in the Mountain West Conference. UNLV is most remembered for its men's basketball program, which experienced its height of supremacy in the late 1980s and early 1990s. Coached by Jerry Tarkanian, the Runnin Rebels became one of the most elite programs in the country. In 1990, UNLV won the Men's Division I Championship by defeating Duke 103-73, which set tournament records for most points scored by a team and largest margin of victory in the national title game. In 1991, UNLV finished the regular season undefeated, a feat that would not be matched in Division I men's basketball for more than 20 years. Forward Larry Johnson won several awards, including the Naismith Award. UNLV reached the Final Four yet again, but lost their national semi-final against Duke 79-77. The Runnin' Rebels were the Associated Press preseason number one back-to-back. -back. North Carolina is the only other team to accomplish that. The state's involvement in major college sports is not limited to its local schools. In the 21st century, the Las Vegas area has become a significant regional center for college basketball conference tournaments. The MW, West Coast Conference, and Western Athletic Conference all hold their men's and women's tournaments in the area, and the Pac-12 holds its men's tournament there as well. The Big Sky Conference, after decades of holding its men's and women's conference tournaments at campus sites, began holding both tournaments in Reno in 2016. Las Vegas has hosted several professional boxing matches, most recently at the MGM Grand Garden Arena with bouts such as Mike Tyson vs. Evander Holyfield, Evander Holyfield vs. Mike Tyson 2, Oscar de la Hoya vs. Floyd Mayweather and Oscar de la Hoya vs. Manny Pacquiao and at the newer T-Mobile Arena with Canelo Alvarez vs. Amir Khan. Along with significant rises in popularity in mixed martial arts, 
a number of fight leagues such as the UFC have taken interest in Las Vegas as a primary event location due to the number of suitable host venues. The Mandalay Bay Events Center and MGM Grand Garden Arena are among some of the more popular venues for fighting events such as MMA and have hosted several UFC and other MMA title fights. The city has held the most UFC events with 86 events. The state is also home to the Las Vegas Motor Speedway, which hosts the Cobalt Tools 400. Two venues in the immediate Las Vegas area host major annual events in rodeo. The Thomas and Mack Center, built for UNLV men's basketball, hosts the National Finals Rodeo. The PBR World Finals, operated by the bull riding only professional bull riders, was also held at the Thomas and Mack Center before moving to T-Mobile Arena in 2016. Finally, Sam Boyd Stadium, home to the UNLV football team, also hosts the country's biggest rugby event, the USA Sevens Tournament in the World Rugby Sevens Series, as well as the AMA Supercross Championship. The state is also home to one of the most famous tennis players of all time, Andre Agassi, and current baseball superstar Bryce Harper. Several United States Navy ships have been named USS Nevada in honor of the state. They include Area 51 is near Groom Lake a dry salt lake bed. The much smaller Creech Air Force Base is in Indian Springs, Nevada, Hawthorne Army Depot in Hawthorne, the Tonopah Test Range near Tonopah, and Nellis AFB in the northeast part of the Las Vegas Valley. Naval Air Station Fallon in Fallon, NSAC, in western Nevada. NSAC consolidated three command centers into a single command structure under a flag officer on July 11, 1996. The Naval Strike Warfare Center based at NAS Fallon since 1984, was joined with the Navy Fighter Weapons School and the Carrier Airborne Early Warning Weapons School which both moved from NAS Miramar as a result of a base realignment and closure decision in 1993 which transferred that installation back to the Marine Corps as MCAS Miramar. The Seahawk Weapons School was added in 1998 to provide tactical training for Navy helicopters. These bases host a number of activities including the Joint Unmanned Aerial Systems Center of Excellence, the Naval Strike and Air Warfare Center, Nevada Test and Training Range, Red Flag, the U.S. Air Force Thunderbirds, the United States Air Force Warfare Center, the United States Air Force Weapons School, and the United States Navy Fighter Weapons School. Nevada enjoys many economic advantages, and the southern portion of the state enjoys mild winter weather, but rapid growth has led to some overcrowded roads and schools. Nevada has the nation's fifth largest school district in the Clark County School District. Coyote Springs is a proposed community for 240,000 inhabitants in Clark and Lincoln counties. It would be Nevada's largest planned city. The town is being developed by Harvey Whitmore and has generated some controversy because of environmental concerns and allegations of political favoritism. Coordinates, 39 degrees north 117 degrees west slash 39 degrees north 117 degrees west slash 39, 117.